Folks, today we're going to talk about the Zoe collection, specifically the older Zoe mice. We know there's a bunch of the newer ones, different versions, the uh, Tai Lu, the Venus, and behind that there's the, uh, uh, the CSGO version. But we're going to talk about the older ones. Just on quick side notes, I know my bed is messy, but I had to record this because I just received a couple of mice here, and I... Um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to record the video first and tidy these up later. And second, forgive my hands. I know my nails are a bit big because I'm lazy to cut them, but don't worry, they're clean. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about these ones first. This is back when... Uh, actually, you don't see a lot of these mice today. But this is when back when the FKs and the ECs came with a white Zoe logo. And, you know, the old scroll wheel. And this is what a newer version looks like. So you see it's red and a little bit smaller as well. And on the white ones, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, I never found these in the original boxes. I just found them loose. So to be quite honest, I don't even know what the original box looks like. If it's like the same newer version or if it came or if it comes in the uh, older boxes. Anyway, so we're going to talk about these mice. And uh, I've, I've researched a little bit. I found out a couple of things. Um, my black EC1 Evo, it's the ESCA version, right? And uh, what happens is there is another uh, another black version that is not the ESCA version. It, it's actually a little bit darker, much like this one, except with the old logo. It's a white logo. It's a white Zoe. And uh, it's pretty neat, but I haven't found it yet. But I'm looking for it. We have the uh, white EC, you know, and, and all of these mice. I showed you guys in the, in the past video. Just making a, uh, you know, just let's recapture what happened. And uh, this is the blue EC. I'm dying to find this mouse on a box like this. I have not found it boxed. The the Evos, the cooler versions. I have about four of them. And uh, FK1s uh, have about three of them. And these mice, you see them a lot more than you see these. Or these. This is where it gets special. So, uh, I've shown you uh, this one for you guys, the AMFG. I don't know how, but I found it for sale here in my home country. And this one just came in the mail. Now, I've had an AM before, as I show you guys, but it's it's in very rough shape. You know, I didn't even clean it too much because I'm afraid of, of damaging it further because it's an old mouse. Old, oops, old mouse. And you can see there. And um, this one just came in the mail. Oh, look, there's me shirtless on the reflection. But uh, it just, this one just came in the mail. And as you can see, it seems to be pristine. Actually, it might be factory sealed, as you can see here. And there's two other seals, one down here, which is is fine. And this one, I don't know if someone put it back again, or if it just, by age, just lost a little bit of that glue, which is fine. So I'm going to pause the video now so I can open this carefully. I'm going to show you guys and compare with these ones. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys care about that, but about the newer mice, uh, I, I've got a, a pretty cool collection of uh, Pulsar X2s going on here. Actually, uh, there's a, a couple of, a couple more coming, which is the um, X2 Clear Crystal version and the uh, X Lite V2. This is the retro version and the uh, coffee or caramel color. It's a like, brownish color of that version is coming as well. Nothing way too special, but these, these are something else. So I'm going to open it up and I'll show you guys. All right, so I've just opened it and you guys will not believe this. <laughs> I believe it was factory sealed indeed. It was never opened for some reason. Take a look at this. This is my old mouse. And uh, look at the coating on that. And look at this one. It is pristine. 
and it's actually very sticky for some reason. I don't know why, I don't know what material that is, because of, I don't know, improper starring conditions, and uh, maybe it was too hot, melted a little bit, I don't know. Could be a number of factors, but look at this. This little film underneath. That's the, uh... oh, actually. No, it is not. I think it was used before. Or maybe, or maybe this is just just natural damage. I don't know. It's because the top looks so clean. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's it's in a very good condition. Very good condition, nonetheless. It's undebatable. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now here's some funny trivia that most of you don't know, and if you do know, uh, congrats to you because that is. Very weird information. So, as we know, the Counter Strike Legends spawn in Heaton. They helped Zoe develop. They they've co-developed uh, these mice, which are the main shapes that you see today in most of the of, of the uh, of the modern mice, modern gaming mice. So what happens here is, if you take a look at their names, Spawn's name is Abdi Samad Mohamed. I'm probably butchering that name, but uh, bear with me for a moment. Abdi Samad Mohamed. That's uh, the name of these mice are based on their initials. Emil Christensen. Emil Christensen. One. So you see. It's, that's there's a lot there's a lot more depth uh, to these mice than you think, and I plan to make a video like a full video on how Counter Strike and the competitive Counter Strike gaming scene shaped the modern uh, mouse era that we know and the, the mice that we use on a daily basis. How these guys just from playing Counter Strike, you know, they were playing Counter Strike, small. Tournaments came in and and you know the whole tournament scene just 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 grew bigger to this point and it's insane And I even wanted to maybe contact Zoe see if I can get a, a uh, An interview with uh, with spawn on the internet You know, it's a video interview So I could ask a little bit more about these facts and draw a little bit more on the, on the on the history of these mice because people don't realize this but it's so important it's it's really important because whatever that we are using today like here's an example the mouse that I use oh low battery but it's a charge but you know the mouse that I mainly use on my you know daily gaming look at this shape tell me they're not the same thing right same goes for uh, Razer's Death Adder V3, I believe. I never, I'm, I was never a big fan of Razer, so I don't know. But we have, I mean, the X2 could be somewhat drawn in between the FK or the AM. I mean, the FK came after the AM, so it's it's like a whole evolution history that one is based on another, and they have their own twist. So that goes to that, which kind of goes to that i have a better example i have uh somewhere around there i have a uh, vexi xe which is very it's surprisingly like the afk so they're all connected that's what i'm trying to say and behind this connection there is a whole world that we don't know we don't know the history like specifically we have a few articles in the internet but we don't have the details and I wanted to get in contact with uh, maybe Heaton or, or Spawn, just, you know, make a quick interview and draw a little bit more so I can make like a very cool video on this side of the history because everybody knows the history of Counter-Strike and tournaments, but nobody knows this side, which is how these tournaments and these people just transformed the world that we know today and we love. Because if you're watching this video, you like mm, computer mice like me. Or if you watch Board Z or you know, uh, Rocket Jump Ninja, and 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 that's something that that drives us. I know that as a fact. It's so important for us that game every day to have the right my right miles in your hands. So yeah, that's it for now. 
Um, I plan to make a video on Pulsar later, but uh, for now, nothing, nothing else. This was the main thing. This, this is the main uh, course of this video, of course, with this information that I found out recently. And uh, that's it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed.